Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously by the title, um, you clicked on this video for a reason, so TY. Um, I really like don't know what I'm gonna say. I totally didn't plan this video at all. I knew I wanted to film it, but I have no clue what I'm gonna say. So I guess I'm just gonna start off by saying subscribe to my channel. <laughs> but I guess I'll just start off by saying I'm transferring. <laughs> um, so <laughs> So if you guys don't already know, um, I currently go to the University of Alabama and I'm originally from Philly, like the Philly area. So everyone says like when you grow up in Philly you don't leave Philly and I always wanted to leave Philly um, just cause like, I don't know, I always wanted to like live in LA or somewhere bigger like that. So then two summers ago I moved out to LA and I thought I was going to be there like forever. I thought I was going to do online school there for the rest of my senior year. I got an apartment and I really thought I was going to move out there and that was going to be that. But after being there, I realized LA was not the place that I wanted it to, that I wanted to be. It was totally like what I didn't think it was and and it was just not the place for me. Um, I miss the East Coast, I miss the hustle and bustle and everything like that. And I think growing up on the East Coast, it's very hard to live anywhere else on the, that isn't on the East Coast because the East Coast is so different than any other place like the South or the West. I agree. Yeah? Mm -hmm. My friend Carly's here, she's also, she's from Maryland, so she gets it. Um, she's also transferring. <laughs> <laughs> like when you grow up in the East Coast, it's very hard to adapt to somewhere that isn't the East Coast because the East Coast has the seasons, it has great weather, it is a very productive area, it's very fast moving, it's very homey, and it's just a really great place to live and to grow up. So when I moved back home for senior year from LA, I knew that um, I wanted to go to college, but I didn't know where I wanted to go. And I also knew that after college, I was gonna move back to Philly. I remember that when I applied to Alabama, um, on not you have to like rank your status of how much you want to go there and I put it very low <laughs> so I did not want to come here um, when I first applied it was just it was a huge safe school after I toured a few colleges back at home I realized that I really wanted to go to Penn State and I wanted to go to the University Park the main campus the big shebang I wanted the big school experience and at the time I really wanted to not do YouTube so much in college and I wanted to kind of stop it when I got to school. So that's why I wanted to go to a big school where I could really get away from YouTube and really just live as a college student and kind of have like a normal life. Because in high school I didn't have that. I was traveling all the time and you know I was made fun of all the time for my YouTube and I really just wanted to be like normal and kind of like fit into a place. And I got into Penn State but not the main campus. I got into a branch campus and I was really upset by that and I thought that if I got into a branch campus that's not Penn State so I didn't want to go to Penn State. Um, before I got my Penn State acceptance letter, I got into the University of Alabama. And, um, you know, when I got my letter, my acceptance letter to Alabama, I was like, okay, cool. Like, I have one, you know, one under my belt. It was the first letter I got. It was an acceptance letter. So I was like, one for one. Awesome. I'm going to do great from here on out. I didn't do great from here on out. I barely heard from any other schools because I took SAT and ACT and I scored pretty poorly on both of them. Um, <laughs> and I took them a lot of times, so I'm just really not good at those tests. And also, in high school, I just did not apply myself at all. I really didn't care enough to do good tests. So with all that being said, after I got denied, accepted, whatever, from Penn State, and I didn't really hear back from a lot of schools, um, I was like, okay, well, I guess my only choice now is Alabama. So um, I was kind of okay with it because I knew it was a big school and I knew that it had all the same benefits that Penn State would have. But the only downside of it was that it was super far from my home. Penn State is a three hour drive from my house and Alabama is a 15 hour drive from my house. So it's really far and I have to take a plane to get home or I have to drive 15 hours in the car. So it's a process to get home and it's really far away. So um, I visited Alabama in February and I fell in love with the campus. It is the most beautiful campus I've ever seen and that will like never, like I will never take that away from Alabama. It really is like straight out of a movie. The sorority houses are absolutely huge. The fraternities look like something that you would see I don't know, like on pictures or it's just, it's exactly what you would imagine college to look like. It's exactly what I wanted, except it was so far away from home. I moved down here, I was very excited. I rushed, I joined a sorority and I absolutely love my sorority and I like, 
I don't know, it's not, okay, now is where I don't really know what to say anymore. I don't even know what to say. It's not that this is a bad school because this is a really, really, really great school. Everyone here that goes here and loves it here absolutely, like, is diehard for Alabama. It's a really great school. We're the top football team in the country. Like, we're just so good. Like, everything down here is just so good. But it all kind of goes back to, like, living on the East Coast and, like, living up north. I don't know. I this... always say that if this school was closer to me, I yeah. would stay. It's like not really what I want anymore. So since being here, like I, told, like I said, my intention was to not do YouTube in college. So when I got here, I didn't upload for like two months and you know, everyone sort of asked me about YouTube. It was like the main thing everyone kind of knew about me and I was kind of like, how does everyone know? Like I came to a really big school so that hopefully no one would know that about me. I really wanted to just be like normal and kind of lay low and not have people know me as like the YouTube girl or the girl that does videos and every single place I went people were like oh are you that girl with 130,000 followers on Instagram like even a boy asked. a boy asked me that like I went to Sigma Chi and he was like oh are you that girl with the followers like I don't want to be known as the girl with followers I don't want to be known as the girl that makes YouTube videos like I don't want any of that and also like everyone kept asking me to do their makeup and I'm like I don't do makeup it just was completely the wrong image and it was completely the wrong scenario for me and like the wrong situation for me and it just didn't work out here so no matter how far I tried to get away from it I just kept being pulled back to it and then after a little bit I just really started to miss YouTube and miss talking to you guys and the interaction and everything like that and you know, before I went to college, I remember I was at the mall and I was with Joey Kidney, oddly enough, <laughs> and I was, he went to university up in Canada and I was talking to him, I was like, you know, do you regret going to college or anything? And he said, yeah, I honestly do because I have this great opportunity in front of me and I kind of just pushed it to the side and I went to university and I think if I really dedicated all my time, I could have made something really big of myself and I really could have made a career and I wouldn't have to be in college debt to make a career when I have one sitting in front of me and I'm not doing anything with it. So at the time when he told me that, he told me that like in last January, so it was almost a year ago and I was kind of like whatever, like I want to go to college, I want to be normal, I want to do all the normal things. I'm working towards this degree and I'm working towards this future for myself but I have this future sitting right in front of me and I'm not doing anything with it. I have this platform, I have these numbers, and I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting them sit here, you know? And it's really, really frustrating. And I was trying to explain this to my best friend the other day. If you aren't in the situation that I'm in and if you don't know what it's like to have people that support you and such a large amount of people that support you and so many opportunities like at my fingertips and just to not do anything with it and not to act on it. It's a very frustrating thing. It's super, super frustrating. So thinking about that and, you know, missing YouTube at the same time, I thought, okay, now I'm going to film and I'm going to start, you know, making my brand strong again. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do it right this time. So I would try filming and I tried filming so many times. I would film everywhere I could think of. I would film up against my door, which is what I'm doing now. I just set up a backdrop. I would film using the back of my wardrobe doors. I would film using my bed as a backdrop. I tried everything. And no matter what, I just didn't like the content. I don't think it looked good. I don't think it looked professional and I wasn't happy putting it up. But you know what? I thought the more time I waste not putting up a video, the more of you guys I'm gonna lose. And I can't lose anyone else because I lost a large amount of engagement from being gone for two months at a time and you know now since March I've been so distant so that's a huge amount of time and a lot of people lost and I was like you know what I have to act on this absolutely right now if I'm really dedicated about it and I really want to do this and I did I really wanted to do YouTube again and I wanted it to be my priority that it was a year ago and I wanted it to be something huge that I cared about and I was super passionate about with that being said it then became like well what do I want to do do I want to stay in school and do I want to you know have this college experience that everyone from my high school is having and do I not want to feel left out from the kids from my high school or do I want to work on something that I have right in front of me that could better me in the future it could better me right now and I could really like take off with this so I weighed out my options, obviously I chose the second one. I wanted to work strongly on YouTube and I wanted to really build my brand and you know take off like I said. And then finally we came to the conclusion that I did want a degree. I knew that YouTube wasn't going to last forever because obviously platforms die out, stuff happens, and I do want a degree to back me up. 
college is hard and everyone I talk to like pretty much says they want to drop out. I still believe that a college degree is important and I definitely do want a college degree. So with that being said, I want to, like I said, move out and continue progressing as human. So now what I'm going to do, this is final set in stone. This is like the long explanation that I was getting to. I'm transferring home and I bought a condo. So I have my own little house. So I'm going to be moving into my condo December 12th, which is super exciting. It's very soon. It's just in a couple of weeks. And I will be transferring to Penn State Branch Campus. I won't say the branch campus, but it is a branch campus. And I will be commuting to that branch campus on Tuesdays and Thursdays to do classes. And then I'm going to work on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And that also gives me a lot of flexibility if I want to go out to LA on, you know, Friday to Monday I can. If I want to go to New York I can. If I want to go visit Matt up at his college I can. If I want to go to my friend's college I can. Um, if I want to go to Penn State, I can. So it just gives me a lot of flexibility and it's the best of both worlds. I'm going to be getting a college degree and I'm also going to live on my own and have my own place and kind of progress as human and work forward towards a goal and a career that I have sitting right in front of me that I'm not doing anything with. And trust me, that is driving me crazy. Okay, so I didn't even make this that clear, like I'm such an idiot. Um, I'm transferring home so that I can focus on YouTube, and I bought the condo as like a workspace and a place to live and work because it's like a lofted condo. I'll definitely do a tour. It's really cute. But I'm working on YouTube completely full-time. It's going to be my life. It's going to be everything, so expect a lot more content from me. So I'm very, very excited about what's to come in the next coming weeks. I literally have just like a few more weeks here. And I cannot wait to get out of Alabama. You guys don't get it. I have a breakdown like once a day. I'm like, I need to get out of here. And I think college is a very try... What's... what's Trial and error. Trial and error. It's a very trial and error process. Um, I have friends that, you know, are 45 minutes from home and they talk about transferring back home. Home is just somewhere so comfortable for everyone I think and traveling far and you know it's hard college is hard and it's just I what I've realized is that I don't want a regular college experience right now I just want to do YouTube I'm gonna do a super cute condo tour guys like it's the, oh my I'm so excited for my condo it is so cute um oh my god it's so cute that's also why I've been holding off on doing like a college Q&A and a sorority Q&A just because like I don't know what I'm gonna say about it because like I'm not colleging anymore I mean I am I'm still going to college I'm still gonna get a degree but I'm it's not my top priority like I'm not I guess I'll still be a full-time student but in my mind I'm gonna be a part-time student did anyone see this coming I'm sure a shit ton of you guys did because everyone knows youtubers don't go to college <laughs> but now I get it like before I was like why don't they go but now I get why they don't go I really do before I was like it's stupid that they don't go they really should get a degree but now I get it I really honestly truly truly do get it but yeah I'm gonna go I hope you guys all enjoyed this and um thanks for being so supportive thanks for being like the best viewers ever I seriously love you guys so much and um <laughs> Be ready for more videos from me and a lot more content. I'm really going to try and upload a lot. I'm not going to say, like, how much or a schedule, but it's definitely going to be at least two times a week. Like, minimum two times a week. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.